Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy LeSavage here with another video. Before we get into today's video, if you guys want to check out this brand new LeBron face creation and player build, those two videos will be down in the description below. But before we get into today's video guys, if you guys are new to the channel, we're 100 subs away from 3K. And if you guys are new, then you guys wouldn't know that I'm doing a giveaway at 3K. So if you guys are new, smash that sub button. Alright guys, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at my facilitating finisher and uh, the new brand new 97 overall. I have this guy at all the uh, attributes I got him with, all the badges, and all the jump shot stuff. I'm going to keep that for another video. This video is already a little too long for me. Um, so we're going to be starting off taking a look at the progression for this build. So obviously everything's maxed out. I'm a 97 overall now. So now I'm able to get those elite contact dunks with this build. Something I screwed up when I was making him. Honestly, everything is pretty much fine on this build except for my playmaking. I don't know what the hell I was thinking when I created this build. I maxed out my post moves. I honestly, I could not tell you guys why I did this. Uh, maybe to get uh, as many playmaking badges as I can get. I do get 22 on this build, which is uh, pretty good. But um. Having my post moves at a 90 really killed me. Could have put my ball handling up. Could have made my driving dunk and layup a lot higher. Uh, so there are some things on this build that I did screw up. I did put out a correct way to make a facilitating finisher. That LeBron James type build. I have that link down below if you guys want to check that out. But um, other than that, I, I, this build is an absolute beast. Uh, I could definitely run the point guard, shooting guard, small forward. Uh, you, I have played power forward like in a rec game a couple times with this guy, but uh, that's when you're just really pushing the limit. I am only 6'7", but um, other than that, my prog progression is looking pretty good. Um, really no complaints. My defense is great, but other than a couple things that I would have changed that I just mentioned, this build's pretty good. So looking at the badges for this build, I do get a shit ton of badges for him. I get a little bit of everything. We got 4 defense, 5 shooting, 17 finishing, and 22 playmaking. I'm just about uh, done with this guy. Almost maximo. Just need 3 more playmaking badges. Then that's it for this guy. But uh, starting off with defense, um, you only get 4 so... You're not really going to get much of a taste of anything. You can only put clamps up to gold, so I have that max out, and I just have Intimidator on bronze. Um, I don't really know any other suggestions that you guys have for me, any other badges. Uh, that could be a little bit better. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm uh, willing to change some stuff up and listen to you guys, and let me know what you guys have to say. But um, other than defense, there's really... Uh, nothing much to it. I mean my attributes are pretty good. I got a 70 rebound my lateral quickness all that stuff It's pretty low, but it's uh, it's not that low if you know what I'm talking about. It's it's decent. It's doable um, Going over to shooting. I do have five shooting badges um, I do like to use quick draw on silver with this guy I usually use quick draw on gold with uh, jump shot 38 I'm still using jump shot 38 that has been absolutely broke for me on my rebounding wing I don't know what the hell is wrong with jump shot 38 but um just on my other build it's it's crazy like absolutely nothing goes in i do get the odd green but it's it's fucked up i don't know what 2k is on i don't like a, what the hell is the point of patching a fucking jump shot i don't get it um so i got catch and shoot on silver uh quick draw on silver and then hot zone hunter or corner specialist i switch between the two um I'm usually always shooting from the corner, either driving, shooting a corner layup or, or a corner jump shot um, just on that baseline. So that's going to do it for shooting. Finishing, I got all my 17 badges here. And so the obvious ones are probably Contact Finisher and Giant Slayer. I used to have Giant Slayer in Hall of Fame. Then I found out that Relentless Finisher, Finisher is such a good underrated badge. This badge helps get so many more contact animations and um now that i'm able to have a contact dunk uh relentless finisher has helped a lot i've gotten a couple bodies uh, after putting this on getting my contact dunks up and this badge helps a lot helps with contact at the rim obviously and uh reduces the effect of fatigue um while you're slashing to the rim so very good underrated badge i know i did not use this badge when i first created this guy i didn't think about it 
I just had a uh, Giant Slayer Hall of Fame. I think I even had uh, uh, Fast Break Finisher Silver or something. I don't know what I did before. Before I had to change up my badges. I didn't I have no clue what the hell I had on. But uh, Contact Finisher is a must for any slasher. If you can get that Hall of Fame, put that on without a doubt. Uh, fancy Footwork. Uh, it's just another badge you don't need on Hall of Fame. Silver is good enough for me. I'm not crazy with the hop steps. I barely do them. So just having this on silver is all I need. Um, consistent finisher. This goes uh, great with relentless finisher. Just helps with um, fatigue shots and any poorly released layups. So that and relentless finisher. Put those two together and you got yourselves an absolute LeBron James beast. And the last one is Slithery Finisher. And you guys should already know what that's about. I got that on Hall of Fame. Pretty good badge. And that's going to do that for finishing. Now taking a look at the playmaking badges. I do get a shit ton of these. I get a whole 22 playmaking badges with this build. Um, so because I get so many and my ball handle is going up as my overall is going up. Um... I'm starting to dribble a little more than I used to with this guy. Before I was just playing as a 3 and D player with this guy. I always Every single build I got, I'm always playing like a 3 and D player. So now that I have a player that actually has the ability to dribble a little bit, I like to have handles for days on Hall of Fame, Space Creator Hall of Fame, tight handles gold. Uh, I used to have downhill on Hall of Fame as, long as, as well as a quick first step, but really downhill is just a waste of four badges, so I put all those to Space Creator. Uh, quick first steps a great one as if you're able to put that a Hall of Fame that's a great one to use uh, and instead of I used to have Dimer on Hall of Fame as well but uh, I just find that floor general is just a lot better it's way more efficient um, it boosts all your teammates attributes and Dimer just whenever I'm playing with somebody that just has Dimer on I don't it does my shots just barely go in and somebody for somebody that has floor general on I find that those shots are always going down more than somebody that has just dimer on so i like to use floor general uh, instead of dimer uh, i like that on hall of fame anything lower there's no point you want to max that out put that on hall of fame as well as the rest of the badges i got on except for tight handles um i do have three more upgrades with what i'm going to do with them i have no clue yet maybe bailout silver um I don't know, maybe Lob City Passer, I don't know. Got three more badges there, then this guy is maxed out. But uh, that's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's been your boy Le Savage. Hope you guys are subbed to the channel, and I'll see you guys at that 3K giveaway. And in my next video, peace.